Hi guys, well are you the type of person to use external storage on a regular basis? Well today's video should be pretty interesting because we're going to be checking out this new Adata SE800 which is an external SSD capable of some pretty astounding transfer rates. The drive itself has a tiny footprint with a beautiful aluminium enclosure which is dust and waterproof. And by featuring the USB 3.2 Gen 2 interface, it is able to overcome the bottlenecks that slower USB standards suffer from, providing up to 1000 megasecond transfer rates. Now external storage is used by a wide variety of different people for a variety of different reasons. A simple backup there of personal files to enable you to have that physical copy of your data while you're on the go, or even like us, you know, having an external drive uh, for our Steam library so that we can kind of quickly attach it to multiple systems, be that laptops or even different platforms, you know, test benches and stuff like that. So that it just saves us having time to re-download those games every time we want to perform those benchmarks. So it really is just convenient no matter what the intended use is because there is no fiddly installation. Today we're going to be putting the SE800 up against the very popular Seagate Backup Plus Slim USB 3 drive with the intention to see if it really is worth going for a slightly more expensive external solution like the SE800. Now in terms of the pricing for the one terabyte models for the SE800 you're looking at around 150 US and then 75 for the Seagate, 180 British pounds and then 60 for the Seagate, and then 230 Aussie dollars and 90 for the Seagate. And so the Seagate unit is quite a bit cheaper, over half the price in most countries, but with the SE800 being more portable uh, and offering you know that reliability because it's an SSD, faster performance, it might well be worth it. So we're going to do a quick unboxing on this unit here, this SE800, and then jump straight into the benchmark test. So as you can imagine, today's video is going to be pretty short and sweet. And before we get into our review, today's video is brought to you by ASRock and their X299 Creator. This board is ready for the latest Intel Core X processors and specifically targets designers who need high performance at their fingertips. Creator boasts the RMOS for its MOSFET solution, which delivers up to 50 amp continuous current for each phase. In short, the RMOS can dissipate heat very well and operate under intense workloads. Creator also comes with 802.11ax, which is otherwise known as Wi-Fi 6, the next generation of wireless connectivity. This board is packed with features, and for more info, please check out that link in the description. So this is the packaging that our SE800 arrives in. We've gone with the one terabyte model. There's only two capacities available. This one and the smaller 512 gig. It's a shame they don't do them any larger. Now inside this packet, we get the external SSD, a quick start guide and two cables. One is type C to type A and the other is type C to type C. So it's nice to have both of those. It gives you a bit of flexibility for those with and without type C. The only thing I would say is that both cables are tiny in length. End to end, they are about 23 centimeters. Now this is the drive itself, it is available in black or blue. It features this aluminium enclosure which carries that IP68 rating, meaning it is dust and waterproof up to five feet and for 30 minutes. As you can see, this unit is tiny. It actually measures just seven centimeters in its largest portion, meaning it'll drop into that pocket with ease. It also weighs a mere 43 grams. The port at the end of the drive is concealed with this plastic cover, which unclips and can be pulled to the side to reveal the USB-C port with the activity LED. Now this drive is USB 3.2 Gen 2, which provides you with that option of up to 10 gigabits. If you wanna take full advantage and get the best transfer rates, you will need to be using that USB 3.2 Gen 2 port and have UASP mode enabled. This drive will work with USB 3.2 Gen 1, otherwise known as USB 3, but it's going to be capped at those slower speeds. And so let's jump in and see how this drive performs up against the popular Seagate Backup Plus Slim, which is a USB 3 drive. This should help us determine if this more expensive SE800 is really worth that extra cost.
So I know this has only been a very brief video today, but that is what you guys can expect from using the Adata SE800. This drive is minuscule, the size and weight mean it's extremely portable, it's gonna be ideal for anyone who is on the move. And having the IP68 rating means that it just adds that bonus of the uh, waterproofing and the dustproof. But the main attraction with this drive is the performance, which we've just had a look at. When you compare the Seagate USB 3 drive to this SE800, it is clear to see there's a huge difference. The transfer rates on this SE800 are nothing short of impressive. And if speed and an improvement to your workflow is what you're after, then this drive definitely ticks that box. The Seagate Backup Plus is of course a cheaper option and if uh, speed and reliability of an SSD isn't a necessity, then that is still a good storage drive to pick up. But if your system does have that uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 and you're transferring large amounts of sensitive data while on the go, SE800 is just brilliant and I would definitely recommend it. I just wish they went beyond that one terabyte capacity to offer up larger drives. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's short video. It would be appreciated if you could like this video and also share it with anyone who might find it useful. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, it would be great to have you on board to have you sign up. So please subscribe and also make sure the bell notification there is switched on. So enjoy the rest of your day guys. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.